today I'm going to throw an enclosed shape first let's whack the clay onto the throwing board I like to wet my hand a little bit and then I'll start centering Here I am combing up and then down. In between combing, I like to wet the clay or my hand as well. I usually comb up and down about three times. This process is also called centering. After the clay is centered, I open the clay up. And then I need to compress the center so that the bottom doesn't crack after firing so here I'm just compressing the bottom of the clay I like to compress it a couple of times just to be sure the clay is flat and add a little bit of water and then I'm just pulling the walls up then I lower the speed of the wheel while I pull the clay up when I'm pulling I make sure that for each pull the wheel is turning 360 degree so all the way around before I move up the clay I'm using a needle tool right now to trim off the top of the clay 
because as you can see there is a little bit of wonkiness on the top and evenness so I'm trimming off the top and using a little bit of water to smooth the top edge and then using a sponge to dry off the bottom and here I'm trying to close off a little bit of the top Using two hands to pull the clays in. Make sure the clay is wet while I'm doing it. It does take time to slowly close and then also pulling some of the excess clay up while you're pulling in. Keep moving it in, trying to close off the top and moving some of the bottom clay up it's getting very close, we are almost there There we have an enclosed form on the clay. I'm still moving some clay up to the top to make sure that the top is not too thin. using my fingers to shape a little bit of the clay, make sure it's smooth then trim the bottom, the excess clay on the bottom a little bit just so that it's clean You can use an enclosed form for many things like uh, the bottom of a wind chime which I'm doing here. Now final step is just wiring off and then letting it dry before trimming. Thank you everyone for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.